As early as the 13th century, the Benedictine monks of the Abbey of Saint Niquez were already producing champagne. The cellars they built above the chalk quarries dug out by the Romans were particularly well suited to storing and maturing their wine. It is these cellars that you are about to visit. During the same period, the Comte of Champagne had a church built close to the abbey, dedicated to Saint Niquez, the martyred bishop who had been decapitated 700 years earlier by barbarian invaders. The family of the Comte of Champagne governed our province for 300 years. They brought peace and prosperity and established the famous Champagne Fairs, where merchants from all over Europe came to trade their country's riches. The life of the most famous Comte of Champagne, Thibault IV, known as the Troubadour, reads rather like a fairy tale. After first leading the rebellion against the monarchy, the poet prince fell in love with Blanche of Castile, the queen, who was also his cousin. This was to bring down on him the wrath of her husband, King Louis VIII, and subsequently of his son, the future Saint Louis. To obtain his pardon, the Comte of Champagne left for the Crusades, thus placing himself under the protection of the Pope. On his return, however, Thibault was still in love with Queen Blanche, and remained so throughout his life. He divided his time between the Kingdom of Navarra and his properties in Champagne, where his impossible love inspired him to write superbly elegant and delicate lyric poetry. One of his residences in Reims now belongs to Tattinger. Thibault brought back two treasures from his visit to Palestine. A type of rose which he planted in his gardens at Provins and a vine producing white grapes which, when crossed with other varieties, will later become the Chardonnay. During the French Revolution, the church and abbey of saint Niquez, both Gothic masterpieces, were destroyed, and the Champagne House later established itself in what seems, in view of the magnificent cellars, to be an obvious place. That house was to become Tattinger. In the heart of the Champagne area, near Epernay, the Benedictines planted alternating squares of black Pinot grapes and the famous white Chardonnays, descended from the variety brought back by Thibault. At harvest time, the dark and light patches of vine give a checkered effect that looks rather like marqueterie. This is probably why Tattinger's estate in Pierry was named Château de la Marqueterie. The property has been hosting many illustrious visitors in its time, including Brother Oudard, one of the inventors of the process of champagne, Jacques Cazotte, a famous writer, Field Marshal Joffre, victor of the Battle of the Marne, and also Pierre Tétanger, our founder. Over the years, it has proved necessary to expand and to introduce variety, so other vineyards and villages throughout the Champagne area have been added. They are situated at Le Ménil, Avise, Mailly, Rilly, Bouzy, Ambonnet, Murigny and Essois. Just as a perfume cannot be produced from a single flower essence, it is impossible to imagine a great Champagne produced from a single vineyard. So the Tétanger family built up a well-balanced vineyard of 290 hectares, one of the largest in the area. This supplies a very large proportion of the grapes we need, which is exceptional in Champagne. But it is not enough to have the best grapes. The next requirement is to have cellars that are worthy of them, and the expertise to turn them into a great Champagne. It is in these cellars that the prestigious Comte of Champagne Blanc de Blanc is produced from a blend made up exclusively of white grapes from the greatest vintage years. 
the Comte de Champagne Rosé, made from the famous Montagne de Reims wines, is also produced here. Wherever one goes in the world, there is only one word for this golden sparkling wine which cannot be compared to any other, and that word is champagne. Sometimes people add from France for the sake of clarity, but the addition is superfluous. Champagne is French by definition, just as the Eiffel Tower is Parisian. Tattinger Champagne can be found today in London, New York, Berlin, Rome, Beijing, Madrid, Tokyo, Shanghai, Moscow, and in over 100 of the capitals and large cities throughout the world. the eye should be pleased before the palette, we created the Tattinger Collection and asked famous modern painters to embellish bottles of Tattinger Champagne. Hartung, Imai, Vieira de Silva, Arman, Liechtenstein, Vazarelli, Cornet, Mata, Zauki, Rauschenberg and Amadou so have so far made their contribution to this prestigious collection. Other famous painters will do so in the future. The brand of Champagne is the signature of its producer. The producers have been, over the centuries, just a few important families who spread the fame of Champagne throughout the world. The name of each of these families has become an established brand. This brand guarantees the authenticity and the quality of the Champagne. The brand identifies those who produce the wine, take responsibility for it, and pride their reputation on maintaining its quality from year to year so it can be confused with no other.